So I've been working on this autonomous camera dolly and I've been working on the top tier. So the top tier consists of this um, church layout looking piece here, uh, enough to hold the NEMA 17 stepper motor in place and a couple of supports down both sides to hold the top plate. And the top plate is just a flat plate and it's uh, got enough holes in there for certain mounting purposes and I've attached a uh, eight, eight gear, eight tooth and a 20 tooth gear to give me a 2.5 gear reduction for the 200 step stepper motor. So as you can see there, a bit of footage on the screen at the moment, that is nowhere near smooth enough. And I suspected that would be the case, but clearly here is the demonstration that that is not smooth enough. As an example, I have 5,400 steps in the, uh, the actual turret component, the midsection of this three-section camera dolly. And as an example, when I turn this one on here uh, on the maximum speed, uh, this is nice and smooth, 5,400 steps in operation. But that smoothness is retained whether I'm doing a rotation in 15 seconds or I'm doing a rotation in a much slower speed, say in around about five minutes, which is the upper and lower limits of that particular section right there. So where to from here? Well, I can continue on with the top section, but I've already learned that I don't have enough resolution in there and I don't have enough strength. Uh, I put a DSLR on top of that and there was far too much flex and bowing. So I need to uh, firm that one up and, and make it that a lot more rigid so I can support a lot more weight and I need a heap more resolution. So I will start working on the bottom section in the next video, but I am going to replace that motor in there with a gearbox driven version at 521 and that will give me more than enough resolution to get very, very smooth um, tilts and combine that with the panning and put the uh, last section, the skateboard section, the dolly part on the bottom and go from there. So that's all I really got time for this week. Thanks very much for joining me for the update and hopefully you'll join me again in about a week's time. I should have the bottom half finished off and put all of the uh, three parts together and see how we go. Lessons learned and then start working on tying all of the three separate sections together and uh, combining uh, Raspberry Pi and get some uh, remote control and some phone functionality built into that as well. Uh, so if you like the video, please give it a thumbs up. That always helps. And feel free to subscribe.